Hello, my name is Linda Melvin and we have been having an awfully lot of fun with fluid watercolor up until now. So today I'm going to teach you something new. We've been working with watercolor where we have the towel and the towel is the wet part and all of the paint is pulled in because as it dries it pulls in. Today we're going to learn how to make it pull out and when it pulls out it looks like this. It is a completely different look. So here's number one, and it has been enhanced. And number two, which has not been enhanced yet, but you can see all the gauze and everything that I put on there. And this is going to take a long time to dry, but the fun part about it is when I turn it around, it's just as pretty on the back side as it is on the front. So we're going to get started. I'm going to begin by once again with water. But I have come in and I've put saran wrap underneath my pieces and made a little well down below here. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to pour some water on it. I'm going to make the water go to all the corners. And the water is going to stay in this well. And then we're going to start spraying. So, of course, I start with my delusions. And you'll see it really moves. I see one spot we didn't get over on that corner. And now I'm going to come in bluer color and maybe just a little green today. And of course, you know, this is fresh lime. Other than midnight, I love lime because it goes with everything. Then we're going to move, look at how this is changing here, how everything is moving. And of course I have my eyedropper and my handy little sprayers and my purple straw. I'm going to come in and I'm going to put colors in that I love to go with this. I've been trying to work with colors. I work with a lot of different colors that I don't just use all the time because it makes it kind of fun to do something just a little bit different. For a while there, I was on a tangent with oranges and yellows. So I'm going to come in and put in some more blues, different blues. And once again, if we want to, what can we do? We can take this and we can pull it up and we can move it with this. Or we can come in, because there's a lot of water here, we can move the water from one spot to another to make it move. And I'll tell you, this takes a few days to dry. You can't get it done in a hurry. Okay, so now I'm going to move to my hydras. But I'm going to take some of this water out. I'm getting quite a puddle. And pull it up a little bit. There's water everywhere though. There's water underneath, there's water on top. When I get done, I want this to be able to move, but I still want to have enough water. Because you can see, if I press down, look at all the water underneath, which is what's going to make it move later. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with coming in and putting blues and greens together and letting them really move. Because these will, but what do we know about these colors? These colors have sediment, don't they? The hydras always have sediment. Now we're moving right into the, the big bones here of this, and that is the Bombay inks. Wow, they do great stuff. Look how they bleed and they move. They're even more fun. But what do we know about the Bombay inks? We know that if you put gauze on top of them, usually you're not going to be able to remove that gauze. So you want to keep an eye on where you think you want to go. What did I just spray on here now? I sprayed alcohol. Look how it makes it completely move differently. It diffuses completely different. If I feel like I still need it to move more, I can. Now I'm going to come in. I can't, I can't help it. I love white. In my classes, I swear that is the color we use the most. 
because it does great, great stuff. Look at how it moves. And it mixes with the other colors. And if I don't feel it moves enough, which I don't know, I think this is looking mighty good, I'm gonna come back in and I can add more water to make it move more and blend with the other colors. I'm gonna come back in though with a couple other Bombays right here to make it come in with it because they blend when you put them together here. Now I'm gonna pick up just some of this but in order to get that wonderful texture you saw earlier, I put down gauze. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna put down gauze. Now we know what, we never take it to the corners and we like to use three pieces usually. But if you don't want to, you don't have to, you don't have to use three. Maybe today, because I'm putting it in the corners I am, I'll only put it in two. I'll pick up some more water if I feel like I need to. But you remember, this is what makes it pull to the inside because the inside of this is gonna dry and it's gonna pull from the outside and that's what you get your texture from. So this was just a little short video today. It showed you how to use the paints again. And I've used the gauze. These are all the same things I've used before. But the difference is, instead of pulling it to the outside to dry, we're going to be pulling it to the inside. And we're doing that because the water is there and it's gonna be pulled in because it's gonna dry on the watercolor paper and it's gonna pull that in. So if you enjoyed, this video you might push like or submit and and if you want to know where i get any of my products you can go to about on the top and it will show you all the products that i use and take you to the specific spot so i hope you enjoyed the video today and make it a masterpiece thank you so much